So welcome to a Motorcycle Missions build. This is the ninth build, guys. And this is the first all-female bike build. When the sun rises, when the sun Hello, I'm Marcelo Dofo, and today we are here at the sacred area of my residence, my shop where I do some restorations. And today uh, we're going to do the first step of restoring a motorcycle with some female veterans. <laughs> the idea is to make it a little different than what it was from factory, but keep the bike as original as possible. I'm very excited because it brought a local organization of female veterans into an arena that they had no knowledge of. So this is, I think it's exciting in all realms, especially for us as a family, getting my father, who obviously restores motorcycles and it's a passion of his, to do something that's not gonna be for him and for his collection. It's gonna be for the world to kind of see and, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. I see the purpose of this, and if we can make a little ding on their life for better, uh, that pays off. So I'm very excited about it. <laughs> Came off? Yeah, yeah, look at this. Yeah. Come on. I started Motorcycle Missions as a means of helping others because it helped me so much. Um, so I want this to be your your moment to shine. It's gonna be a lot of fun because you guys are gonna be learning together. And then when you're done, you're gonna be able to look at your bike that you built together as a group and as sisters. Thank you, ladies. Congratulations. You. Well done. Good job. I'm proud of you. I thought it was going to be harder. So thank you. Now I'll say this. No, I've taught a lot of students, but to teach an actual group of, of uh, female veterans that really weren't mechanics and didn't do, you know, have really that even as some hobby experience or anything else, these were really, really green students. And so the question got brought up, well, what are they going to get experience to or what are we going to do? We literally put hands on, had, had those uh, veteran students actually doing the teardown. You see from the finished project, I mean, all the way from the restoration of it. Uh, working with the students, uh, we really built some strong relationships. It was sometimes really hard to hear their story and hear their struggle as veterans and, and as females and what that was like to uh, to get in and be able to have like a, a no, uh, no rules or no restrictions like, hey, here's the tools, go ahead and do this. Constantly the girls kept uh, referring to how much it was therapy and how, how uh, inspirational it was that they could go do that. And I thought that made a lot of sense for talking to Crystal over the years on why she does what she does. So I feel like working with those students really brought that out. You know, joining the military, I felt like I had that family. And now that I got out, I felt like that was ripped away from me. So programs like this, just bringing um, veterans together with the same, I believe, the same mindset where they're looking to fill in that void, um, it's, it's an awesome feeling. And I honestly think it's way better than a typical therapy, sitting in a group, sitting in a circle. Hey, let's talk about our feelings. No, like, yeah, we can talk about our feelings, but in the meantime, let's do something fun. Let, you know, let's go build a bike. Like, It's just, it's just pretty damn cool, you know, to be able to be with a group of people who you've experienced some, you know, interesting things in life that people in general don't experience. Like who, who the hell would have said that, oh, when you grow up, you're going to go combat. 
chest and you're going to be, you know, in that crack chest pumping that heart with your hand. You're going to see this. And I'd be like, nah. And to be able to actually survive that and come back home and be part of a build, you know, that somebody says, hey, I want to give you this opportunity. It's pretty damn cool. I mean, it is all about the team and everybody that was able to come together. You know, uh, for me, working with all female veterans is um, very interesting because most people think all female when they get together, they kind of don't get along, but we get along just fine because we have shared experience and we understand um, each other better than anybody else, you know, and we also support each other through this journey. And so in a way, it's, it's, it's great working with all female veterans. We had a really solid group of six females that showed up and played hard and learned how to wrench and fabricate and metal shape and electrical and uh, they learned how to ceramic coat and do all sorts of good stuff. They rebuilt the engine, they had the transmission sitting in their hands working with Shane. They got to learn how to solder. Um, they're extremely proud of this project and um, really, really proud of the girls that brought their A-game to this. Well, today we're at the red carpet, finally. The project is done. The, uh, the bike looked really amazing. Uh, we can see the response and everybody, and when they read what it's all about, and when they see the transformation of the bike, it's really an, an amazing achievement. It's like a shock. Like, I could not believe this is our bike and it's here. And you just feel fantastic because you, you're part of something that's so, you know, I can't describe how I feel because how many people in this world say, hey, I be a motorcycle? So we're gonna start off with the people's choice. And that goes to number 1175 Motorcycle Missions with their well, Stephanie on the CL350. Come on. Three up the whole group,